Miss Marvel has finally come out on Disney Plus and I am loving this series. However, as a wild animal biologist and lover of pop culture, especially all things Marvel, it got me thinking, is there an animal that has similar powers to that of Kamala Khan of Miss Marvel? So join me today as I share my three reasons why I think Miss Marvel and the Southern Flying Squirrel have more in common than you might think. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. Now, first things first, there are two key terms that I want to differentiate. First is bioluminescence. Bioluminescent animals produce their own light through a chemical reaction within their bodies. Whereas biofluorescent animals have fur or skin that absorbs ultraviolet light and then re-emits it as a longer wavelength in the visible spectrum to us humans. Now, biofluorescence has been seen in invertebrates, reptiles, amphibians, but in mammals? Hmm? Now, you know I love a bit of history, so I couldn't help but sharing that the first recording of biofluorescence in mammals actually was in the 1940s, when an Australian scientist published a paper about a brush-tailed possum glowing under UV light. Fast forward to today, where we know it happens in a few more mammals, like the New World flying squirrels. But seeing as we're looking at Kamala Khan, a resident of New Jersey, I thought we would focus in on the southern flying squirrel. Now these guys are 7 to 10 inches in length and found along the east coast. So could be New Jersey. But they certainly ain't city slickers. They prefer deciduous and mixed forests with plenty of trees with plenty of cool hiding places. These guys aren't particularly picky eaters as well because they'll eat anything from carrion to berries to tree bark to insects. And like any good superhero would be, they are well prepared for they store nuts and seeds in the ground and in tree cavities as well for when things get a bit chilly. One aspect that I've been loving about the Miss Marvel series on Disney Plus is the theme of family. And that's really important to both Kamala Khan as well as the Southern Flying Squirrel. Even though most of the time they're considered solitary, sometimes they will come together when it matters most. Like in the winter, because they don't actually hibernate. So when the temperature drops, they come together and huddle for warmth. But also the female southern flying squirrels are quite tough cookies. They will have anywhere from two to seven young. And if they're in a tree cavity and they feel threatened, they'll do something rather remarkable. They'll move their entire family to another tree cavity just to protect them. Now the young will glide when they're about five to six weeks old and only become fully independent at four months. Now notice I said glide and not fly. Their name is a mm, bit of a misdirect, really. Hey, I introduce you to the platygium. This is the gliding membrane of the flying squirrel. It is between the forelimbs and the hind limbs. And thus, when their limbs are extended, the surface area increases and then there is much more resistance to air. This reminds me of Miss Marvel because while she technically can't fly, she definitely makes use of what she does have in order to help those around her and to get around in a pretty cool way, which actually makes me think of her name, Nightlight or the name that she's trying not to be called because the Southern Flying Squirrel is also nocturnal. But that's not the only thing they have in common. I've saved the best for last because believe it or not, the Southern Flying Squirrel glows. Like Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, come in. Hi, Maui. Did you want to say hi? Oh, come say hi. Oh, guess who's interrupted? It's a Maui interruption. He's been sleeping all day hard at work, haven't you? I think he's a bit jealous we're talking about Miss Marvel and not Maui. Should we do a comparison video of you with your namesake? Yes? Okay. In my lap? All right. I feel like an evil mastermind in a chair with my cat in my lap. <laughs> Where were we? So I definitely think the Southern Flying Squirrel is worthy of Sloth Baby Productions because under ultraviolet light, their fur glows a brilliant pink color. Who knew? 
More research is definitely needed in this field, particularly with this species as well, as we don't really know what it's for. Some scientists think that it may be with nighttime perception and communication. But the craziest aspect of this whole thing, and the reason why more research is definitely needed, we need to get Bruno on this ASAP, is because the mechanism that causes the fur to fluoresce is unknown. What? Oh, see, that's why I love science. There's always so much more to explore, to find out, and to discover. Also, I have to give a shout out to Amon Vellani and the entire cast and crew of Miss Marvel. It has been a delight week after week seeing one of my favorite comic book characters come to life with a unique story and such brilliance. Well done, guys. And yeah, there better be a season two. Thanks. Anyways, to keep your adventure going, why not check out my video right here? on what animal is most like Thor. Now, I gotta give a bit of a headway. This one is one of my older videos, so the editing and whatnot, I've learned a lot since then, that's for sure. But anyways, go and check it out. Click right here, I'll see you in that video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in that video.